facing you, personal combat or one-on-one, because they are cowards. This is their nature. This is what the Quran tells us about it. They keep chanting the Holocaust, the Holocaust. This is the Holocaust being repeated over and over in the 21st century. And Muslims by now came to find out that we should not really wait nor rely on the United Nations or any other resolution. Because they have violated every single resolution passed by the UN. The UN would assemble and would pass a resolution overnight in no time whenever it is again it's a Muslim country. Whenever it is to approve the invasion of a sovereign country and killing hundreds of thousands of people like what happened in Iraq. But to have a resolution to condemn the barbaric terrorist activities of these Zionists, there is always the right of the veto. Do you think that we're waiting for? Do you think that we're waiting for your word to support us? By Allah, the vast majority of Muslims are only waiting for the victory of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. We trust none but Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And I want to tell you that what you're doing is only increasing our hatred. And the hatred of the entire world, Muslims and non-Muslims as well, to you. Because you are terrorists. Your treaty has become everywhere in the news. Killing the innocent people and the civilians. And mass destruction of communities. After starving them to death. For years, this is your nature. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that He opens all the doors of heaven. A new barrier that stands between the dua of the oppressed one and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dawatul Mazlum reaches directly to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whereupon Allah responds saying, Wa izzati wa jalali la ansuran naki wa law ba'dahin. Remember, we prayed against uh, Sharon. Many of the scholars ask Allah to give him a, a long life, but to torture him in his life. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded, He's neither alive nor dead. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give your leaders the same fate. Your leaders and those who supported them from amongst the Muslims, to give them the same fate. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy on the Muslim ummah. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to render the ummah to the book of Allah and the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As far as our victims, as I said, we're not worried about them because they are in a better place right now. They're in heaven with the Lord being provided. We're only worried about ourselves. We're only worried about our reaction. We're only worried about giving an excuse before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to pardon us for our shortcomings. I'm worried about the Muslim leaders. What are they going to say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tomorrow? Don't you know that Tomorrow, or day after tomorrow, in a year period of time, two or three, one day you're going to die. No White House, no Congress, no one is going to support you against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're going to stand all alone before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to answer, why did you stop the aid from reaching your brothers and sisters? Why did you assist the enemies in their treachery, in attacking the innocent people? What are you going to say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Have you prepared an answer for that? Have you prepared an answer for such question? I'm worried about you. Wallahi, I'm saying this sincerely from the bottom of my heart. Isn't it about time to feel the pulse of your own people? Of your own people whom you rule? Don't you know that Muslims should be united as a single body? As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith, مَثَلُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ فِي تَوَادِّهِمْ وَتَرَاحُمِهِمْ وَتَعَاطُفِهِمْ كَمَثَلِ الْجَسَدِ الْوَاحِدِ إِذَا اشْتَكَى مِنْهُ عُضْوٌ تَدَاعَى لَهُ سَائِرُ الْجَسَدِ بِالْحُمَّةِ وَالسَّهَرِ This should be the case of the Muslim Ummah, like a single body. If any member, if any body part is aching out of pain, the entire body is in pain as well. Many of us, Go to doctors suffering from ailments due to excessive eating and obesity. And our brothers and sisters in Gaza and in many other Muslim places are suffering out of hunger and thirst. A lack of basic needs for the life, medication. Have mercy on them. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, 
I disassociate myself from their evil doing. Oh Allah, utilize us the way you wish. Oh Allah, give us the honor of the shahada for your sake. I call upon the entire ummah to do two things. You can give victory to your brothers and sisters, one by the dua, day and night. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove the